Hey, Steve Noble, Noble Moto, out here in my hot and humid garage. Good thing I have a cool water bottle with my logo on it. You can buy these on my website, link in bio. Anyways, we are here to do uh, the 1800 mile update on the Pirelli Night Dragon GT. So I just put this thing on about two weeks ago, really about a week and a half ago. Uh, then I did a trip with some friends. We rode from Cleveland, Ohio, down to Deals Gap, two-laned it most of the time wherever we could. For those of you who don't know, Deals Gap is on the border of North Carolina and Tennessee. It's 320-some curves, 319 curves, something like that, and 11 miles. And the whole area is pretty much just an amazing mecca for motorcycles. Um, there's lots of curvy roads, there's sweepers, there's overlooks, you're in the Smoky Mountains, it's amazing there. If you own a motorcycle and you haven't been there, you're missing out. Anyways, so I had the bike down there. I uh, was ripping curves on it, so did some highway, did some ripping curves on it. Uh, overall, I would say the tires stuck really well. I never had any extra little shimmies or any little weirdness or anything that made me lose confidence in this sucker. I uh, got my chicken strips down to about eh, five eighths of an inch because that's where my foot pegs drag at. So, and it, it stuck really well. I will admit though, I am a little concerned at the amount of tread that is worn off in relation to the wear bars, especially 1800 miles. Um, I could be wrong, maybe it'll last a while. Uh, it was super hot down there, which I'm sure, you know, eats the pavement, or um, a hot pavement eats the tires too. Um, but yeah, other than that, so far so good on the tire. However, I did have it out yesterday in the rain. Uh, it was a short rainstorm, so the roads weren't really washed off yet. But I was hammering into it in second gear, just wah, wah, wah. And I did get it to spin, which for a 105 foot pound torque bike or whatever this thing is, 105, 110, something like that, that's not really that shocking. But when I did it with the Shinko, it didn't spin. But with the Pirelli Night Dragon GT, it did spin. However, I was on blacktop, hadn't rained uh, that long, so maybe it wasn't rinsed off. Next hard rainstorm again, I'm actually going to go over the industrial parkway where I tested out the Shinko at, uh, hammering on it in the rain, trying to get the tire to spin, and to see if this one will spin. Because the Shinko did not. The Pirelli did. Like I said, could have been the pavement. Other than that, so far so good with it. Uh, yeah. So uh, stay tuned. Probably around 5,000 miles or so, or somewhere in that realm. I will do another update. We'll see where we're at. So like and subscribe and all that jazz. And uh, yeah, that's all I got. Ride fast, stay hydrated.